Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will learn how to create turntable animations for a Sketchfab model. We will leave a link to the model in the description box of this video. We also wish to thank the author. Let's go ahead and download the model in GLTF format. Then we will need to inflate the archive. Then in Maverick all we need to do is use the Sketchfab importer button and choose the inflated GLTF file. Next we will choose which ambient we want the model to import into. In the next page it is important to make sure that the direction of the vertical axis is correct, and also that the scale is right. By default this model is too small as the units are set to millimeters, so we must change the units. Once we accept Maverick will import the geometry and automatically create PBR materials from the model's textures. With the model imported let's change the orbit mode to surface for easier navigation. Then we will change the focal distance of the camera by revealing its attributes. Then we will configure the output resolution for our turntable animation and tell the IPR from the globals panel to take its aspect ratio from the turntable dimensions. Next we will drop an ambience with a black background. We may rotate the ambience from the ambience composer panel until we find an orientation that we are happy with. Let's enable depth of field and set the focus point with the autofocus feature. We may use the DOF pre-visualization tool to better see which areas are in focus. In the camera attributes let's lock exposure and change the aperture attribute to get shallower or deeper depth of field. Let's find a camera viewpoint that we like and store the camera. We will use Light Mixer to fine-tune our lighting and consolidate the changes when we like the result. Let's enable the AI denoiser in the IPR to kill off the render noise as quickly as possible. And now let's configure the actual turntable animation. We may use the scrubber control to pre-visualize the animation. In our latest release we have added the possibility to select the rotation axis. In this example the scene centroid works for the z-axis, but not for the x or y axes. To fix this we will choose the sun object as a pivot, since it is placed right at the center of the scene. To this end we will select the sun in the IPR and then head to the objects panel. We will double click the object and copy its name to the clipboard with Ctrl C for easier selection as we will see in a second. Now in the turntable page we will select object pivot and click the pivot plug. In the dialog that pops up we will paste the object's name with Ctrl V in the filter edit box. This way we can simply double click the object thumbnail. Now the, the turntable will rotate around the sun. Let's check all the axes again to make sure that rotations look the way we wanted. Last we will configure the turntable's rotation length and start angle. And the target sampling level, which we will lower to 8. We will enable the AI denoiser as well. Let's set the output file name and JPEG for the output format. We may start a quick draft render for preview purposes, or a final render straight. In this machine with an 2080RTX GPU the average render time is about 10 seconds per frame.
Here you have the resulting animation in all its beauty. Let's now create another turntable that rotates about the x-axis for fun. Let's pick new rotation start and length as we don't want a full turn in this case. Again, the scrubber control allows us to preview the animation directly in the IPR. Let's pick a different output file name before we render as we don't want our previous files to be overwritten. And here's the second animation. Mixing rotations about different axes you may achieve a beautiful dynamic look for your presentations. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.